Good morning, everyone. I'm enjoying this nice spring day. I thought I'd do this outside today. Um, I'm going to go over a few things um, of conscious discipline um, and te uh, breathing techniques because around this time of the quarantine, you're probably starting to get stressed and, um, and breathing techniques are a good way to release a lot of the stress. Um, remember when we talk about conscious discipline and making connections, um, especially helping your child, children learn how to breathe and, um, releasing stress, always remember, um, eye contact, presence, um, touch and, uh, playfulness. Okay. Um, this is... Um, learning how to breathe, belly breathing, um, is a good way um, to do it. You want to do it before you need it. So it's always good to practice it, even if you don't need it at that moment. Um, we have um, a breathing technique or a conscious discipline as a breathing technique of um, um, smelling the flower and blowing out the candle. Um or smelling the flower and blowing the pinwheel. You don't need a flower and you don't need a pinwheel to do this. You could just use your imagination or if you want to make one out of paper, um, you can make both the flower and the um, pinwheel out of paper and I'll show you, I'll be able to post that on the family chat um, or the family chat, the group chat. Um, so you just make sure you're breathing from the belly and you're breathing in the flower and you're blowing out the pinwheel. And you and um you're releasing all of the all of your breath at the, you know, releasing it all. Um so that's that again. If you want to try it with me, that would be good. Um so you don't need this. I'm going to you not use it this time. So you're going to breathe in the flower. All the way in and blow out the candle and releasing your body and your tensions. Um, and then here is um, the other breathing techniques that we've used. Um, the star, which is smile. You take a smile and take a deep breath and you relax. So the star would look like this. Smile, take a deep breath, and relax. Let's try that again. Ready? This is the star one. So smile. Take a deep breath. And release. And relax. And the drain one, which is you extend out your arms. Um, pretending that your arms straight out, pretending that they are the drain, right? And you tighten your arms, your shoulders, and your face muscles. You're going to exhale slowly, making a sound, and release all your muscles, draining out the stress. Okay, so this is what this is going to look like. So you're going to extend your arms, you're going to tense all everything up, and then you're going to release. And calming your body. Okay. Want to try that again? Try it with me. Ready? Extend your arms. Tense everything up. Your arms and your shoulders and your face. And release. All right. And then, this is the pretzel. Um, here is this again, the pretzel. This is says that you um, are standing up and you cross your ankles. Um, and you cross your right wrist over your left. But you can do this while you're sitting down as well. So I cross it, crossing my ankles and crossing your hands. Put your thumbs down. 
and interlock your hands and then pull it right up and release. And relax. So you're gonna cross cross everything. So when you cross your the midline, this is your midline. When you cross your midline of your body, um, it does um, things in the brain that releases anxiety and stress, and it's a great stress reliever. Now the young kids aren't going to. Um, they're not going to be able to do this because it takes a lot of eye hand coordination, but you can try it with them and see what, well, you know, they can at least cross their legs and they can cross their arms or you can do a hug like this and do a tight one and then release. So here's the pretzel one again, cross your legs or your ankles, cross your arms, pull it in. Breathe in, breathe out. You could do that. Um, with all these breathing techniques, you wanna do it in um, three um, intervals. So you wanna do it three times. It's a good, um, three is a good number to do. Um, if you need to do it longer or more, you can do that. There's no set rule on, um, on how to do this. And this only takes a few minutes. Um, when I'm feeling stressed at home or in the classroom, I take a lot of deep breaths and make sure you're doing it from your belly. Um, and then here's the balloon. We have done this in the classroom and the kids absolutely love it. If anything, it makes us look silly and it breaks up, you know, um, meltdowns or um, screaming or anything like that. So here's the balloon one right here. And you're going to place your hands on top of your head and interlace your fingers. Breathe in through your nose as you raise your arms, inflating an imaginary balloon. Okay, release the air in the balloon by pur pursing your lips. Exhaling slowly, lowering your arms and making a sound okay so this can look many different ways it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to look like that a lot of the things that i'll do the one how they say to do it and then i'll do the one that we do in the classroom okay so place your hands on top of your head interlace your fingers so interlace your fingers on top of your head breathe in through your nose as you raise your arms inflating imaginary balloon so and release the air okay so let's do that again breathe in through your nose and deflate the balloon and you're going to want to do it three times ready ready Inflate the balloon, <sighs> deflate it, okay? Um, and we've done it this way too. So you go, <laughs> and then deflate it. <sighs> and you go <sighs> like that. You do it, if, as long as you're belly breathing, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, also, um, how you can tell if you're belly breathing or not, and this is something that you could do with your child too, an activity, um, is you can lay on your back on the floor or on the grass and take a small rock, but make sure it's not too small because you don't want it to be a choking hazard for your child. Um, take a, a rock and place it on your belly and their belly, and then you're gonna breathe in, and you're gonna breathe out. And when that rock goes up and it goes down, you know that your belly, your breathe, belly, um, breathing from your belly. And that's the kind of breathing, the deep breathing that you want to do. All right. And you want to do it slow and release it. So this is a great exercise for you to do with your children when you guys aren't um, on 
um, maxed out with your, with your stress and your tension. All right. Um, and then this quote I want to give you and leave here with, um, it's by Winston Churchill. Fear is a reaction. Courage is a decision. So make sure that, um, you're being courageous through this whole thing. Okay. It's easy to follow with fear, but make sure you're doing, you know, you're being courageous and you're being that model for your child. Um, so it's your decision, right? Also, um, I want to guy, I wish you guys all well. So wishing you well, make sure you're breathing, deep breathing in and deep breathing out.